guys, so my makeup package just arrived and I'm really excited. Um, it's supposed to come like tomorrow, but it came today, so I'm really excited for this unboxing, huh? I haven't like opened it up for you guys. I waited to film this video just for you guys. Um, film a tutorial. The tutorial will probably be up before this unboxing, huh? get a package I always feel like peeing so let us explore what's in this box I look super white um, I'm just gonna open the bubble wraps for you guys so this is like the first thing I got oh my gosh I got all of these makeup um, because I'm going to put makeup on about six people for um, my sister's graduation just her friends asked me if I could do makeup on them, so I'm really excited about that. I think that is all, is it? This sample they gave me as a free gift, it's in the set 14. Best powder foundations in all shades, so all of them can get really, really nice coverage. So there are how much are there one two three one two three four five six there are eight shades so this foundation gives a matte finish because it's in like powder form that's my friend who is z from my best friend tag video you guys to just see like the consistency and stuff like that so this is in shade number one um, so I'm gonna bring all of this makeup stuff with me um, and we're going to be staying at a hotel which is at Riskun um, because the graduation is gonna be there oh my goodness like the packaging is super super gorgeous super gorgeous packaging oh my gosh it looks like that super sleek and I'm just gonna open it so this is how this is the number one shade so i'm just gonna swatch for you guys it's really really buttery smooth it feels like a typical powder actually so i'm not really sure so this is so pigmented because like it's not really that expensive compared to other high-end brands for these eight pressed powder foundation this white cast is making me crazy so the next thing I got for my makeup job as a um, as an amateur makeup artist, um, it is this 10 concealer shades camouflage palette by Coastal Sense. Um, it looks like this the box. So I'm going to show it to you guys how it looks like. It reminds me of my 10 blush palette by Coastal Sense. Also going to bring this with me. Um, at the hotel this is how it looks like this is like a concealer palette so i have the foundation pressed powders and now i have the concealers for them i have the coastal sense camo quads and i know they give full coverage so that's why i went ahead and got the bigger palettes because i know it's gonna be really awesome and i'm just gonna swatch for you guys it's really really smooth and I, you, can, you obviously cannot see it, but trust me, it's good quality. Okay, moving on to the next item. I got the brush gloss. It takes forever for my brushes to dry. Sometimes it takes like two days or more than that. So it's really, really annoying. It drives me nuts, okay? It drives me bananas. Storage cleaning protection. And it looks like that. So this will be really nice to just dry my brushes and it's supposed to dry them in a few hours or mix up I love makeup sticker which I have another one of these so the what is this the business card which I have tons of these also thing I'm just going to open it for you guys my brushes because I know like I'm not gonna use my own personal brushes on them you know because they are just my baby but the Coastal Sense of flat top kabuki brush this is really handy I have another one which is like a bigger one and I like to use this to apply powder to apply bronzer to apply a highlight and it's just nice to apply foundation also 
I love this brush. So I bought the angled kabuki brush, which just looks like this, and this is going to be really handy to just contour their um, cheekbones and stuff like that. So the Coastal Sense 250 brush, which is just like a fluffy crease brush. I don't know if you can see that which just looks like this. Bought three of these because I'm going to be using these on my clients. So these two are for my clients using that as a, like a fluffy blending brush. And I also got one for myself. Then I just got like a medium shading brush, which just looks like this. It's like a typical eyeshading brush. I just bought this for them. Just for hygiene, because my brushes are so dirty. I'm not going to use dirty brushes on them, you know. Then I also got like this tapered blending brush. That is what it's called. Um, I use this for my concealer. So I'm also going to be using this on them to just blend concealer under their eyes. I love brushes like this for that. And then I also got a lip brush, which just looks like this. For wearing like, red lips, it's important that it looks like precise and it doesn't look messy because it then it will look unprofessional two lip brushes for myself and for my clients smudger brush because i have always wanted a small smudger brush because it's really easy to just apply eyeshadow on the lower lash line or just to apply like gel eyeliner on the waterline so you're gonna get that precise really smart looking line i guess what is this brush called another blending brush and then i also got like a dome shaped brush but this is just like a smaller one i have a bigger dome shaped brush i have a bigger dome shaped brush but this is just a little bit thinner so it's going to be easy to just create a very precise outer v or just apply eyeshadow on the outer crease then i also got a medium angled brush which is just like the typical um, brush by Sigma which is this one right here it's called E70 it's just like this but I want to use this for my clients like really easy to apply eyeshadow um, in the crease and stuff like that so yeah so that is all for the brushes palette which just looks like that. I bought this because I feel like so many bronze shades and like highlight shades and also the blush shades are just impeccable to me and it's very unique. So this is how it looks like. These three are blushes, these three are highlighters, and these three are bronzer. Obviously my clients will have like different skin tones, different skin shades. <laughs> so I'm going to have to use a different colors of bronzers and highlights and also blushes. Costa Sands Smoky Palette um, and and this has 36 eyeshadow colors. Actually Emily Noel recommended this palette. Um, I actually have another one but that's a different story. Definitely going to do a tutorial with this beautiful beautiful gorgeous palette beautiful colors. You guys know Coastal Scents have very pigmented buttery eyeshadows. So pigmented. I'm like dying right now. A bright eye brightener by Coastal Scents. And this is just in medium. This is just like an under eye concealer. Um, I have always wanted to try this concealer because Crazy Ray Ray on YouTube, she always wear this. Like back in the day I guess. But she always wear this. So I'm really excited to try this out. Oh my gosh, that looks really, really dark. Ah, uh, gosh. Uh, I should have bought the lighter shade, but this one is just so dark. Ah, uh, gosh. Uh, I'm really angry. So you have to be careful if you want to try this out. Uh, it's not going to be what you think it's going to be. It's going to be like darker. So, so this is called Shadow Work. So this is just an eye primer um, because I feel like my Urban Decay Primer Potion is just not going to hold up to six people, you know. This is very, very watery. And it has like a shimmery or, or like satin finish. 
It reminds me uh, just a little bit of Urban Decay Primer Potion in Sinad Four lip glosses Two for myself um, One for my big sister and one for my best friend So we're just going to open one This is in Flipping Hot Because I have tried their lip glosses before um, it, And it just looks like this this is the one I have tried before. It's like a corally orange color called Challenge Me. And I really like it because it's like really intensely pigmented and it stays on all day. Um, I think like this is definitely an underdog product. People should try it. It's really inexpensive. So this one is just like a beautiful hot pink. I don't have a hot pink gloss to put this on for you guys to see like the pigmentation and stuff like that. it would be like really really hot pink but it's like a purplish pink so it looks like that it's not sticky at all though so then I got another color in Odyssey um, it's for my sister it's like a light pink so that's for her and then for my best friend I got it in the color O Scarlet and I know she likes like reddish coral lip colors, so that's why I got this for her. And oh my gosh, this is so gorgeous. Look at that. So beautiful red. It's like glitters in it, so that's really cool. I feel like this is not like a dark, dark red, so she's gonna love it. And um, it may look really bright on camera, but in actual reality, it's not really like that intense for you best friend if you're watching this video it looks like this just a typical clear gloss nothing special i've always wanted a clear gloss i have like a free lip gloss from rocket seed extremely extremely sticky so i'm going to be using this a lot is all if you have any other video requests or something like that leave it down below i love you guys so much and i will tell you guys later how my makeup job went and stuff like that so i will see you guys in my next video and i hope you guys enjoy this tutorial look which is probably up right now so bye guys so this is how it looks like outside my window Look at them birds go. Work it girl, work it.